in life and today I'm giving well, I'm bringing you the top three tips for your first puppy on how to get him coming back on the whistle and sitting and healing well, my first tip is just get him on a small whistle probably a bit like this one which is a two ten and a half and I'm just going to give him a blow there we go and make him sit, sit, sit down sit and give him a small treat just to say well done good dog, get on I've had Milo for a couple of years, well a couple of months now I've had him three, four months it's a five and a half old Springer Spaniel and I'm just going to get him a bit of work with me over the years. Come here. Oi, get out of it. Get out of it. Come on, get out of it. And then, well, if you want him to come to you and sit, you just got to stand still. Well, the first tip is basically just get him to sit, make him, make the dog or bitch sit when you're giving him his dinner or tea. You make him sit dog sit down sit down boy you make them sit when you're having when they're having their dinner or tea or breakfast it depends whenever you want to feed your dogs make them sit and then when they do sit put your hand out like that and go sit Milo Milo sit get on and you give him simple tips like that which will get him up and working well for you so that's the first tip, is just to make him sit when you're feeding your dog. Right, now the second tip will probably be just to call his name. Milo? Milo? And give him a little blow of the whistle. Milo? You may get a bit confused because I haven't done this for a while, I've just blown the whistle. Milo? 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 Like that. And blow. Come here, sit. And then do the sit and hand signal again. Good dog, good dog. Sit, get on. And then make him get on and work. Uh, he likes to get in and work. I've taken him beaten a couple of times now with me and he's done very well so far. Milo, Milo, get in, get in, get in, Milo. Get in there, get in there, go on then, get on. And he'll, he's working well, he's on a couple of retrieves for me which have been good and successful. Sometimes if I keep him on the loo a bit too much, he decides to play up and be a little shit. So, sorry about the language, so I, oh, come here, hello, sit, sit, good boy, good boy, get off. And always report, reward them every time they come back and sit by your feet now that's my second dog there that is Arnie he's 14 year old Irish Terrier Glen of a Mal. he's quite a rare dog not many of them are about and I only know one breed breeder in probably the UK I only know he's related to most dogs of his type in the UK and breed just keep an eye on that rascal come here it. Always coming back, ain't you? Good boy, get on then, get on then, get on then. He's up, he needs work on his healing, and that's probably about it healing and point getting him in where I want him to get in. Get in, Milo, get in down here. Get in, get in, get in. Okay, he's alright, he's not too bad, he loves to sniff about and mess around there most of the time. So I do tell him off for that. Come here, Milo. Heel. 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 Yeah, that's useless, he is. But if you want to get your dog to heal, I've been taught a tip. And what you do, I'll show you in a minute, is you put your dog on a lead, well, on his lead or a lead, like this. Milo! Milo! Come here! Come here! And you do this, and you do this. Sit down, sit down. Good dog, sit stay that's another tip I'll bring to you as well is staying he's, a, he's worked 
quite while it's staying. If I could get up now. Give me that. Give me that. Hey, hey. Good dog. No, come here. He's going to choke himself. And you do this. When he starts to pull, you go, Milo. You walk the other way and pull him. And you go, heel. And, you, and then you walk like this. He's walking straight. And you turn and go, heel. And that'll get him used to lead work. Heel. And it'll eventually get him healing. Which Milo isn't very good at. Or you can wrap the lead around your hand like so. And keep him on the short lead and say heel. Which works while he's okay on like that. Heel. Good dog. Sit. Sit down. Sit. Good dog. Good dog. Get on. And I always, always reward him everything he does wow and if it doesn't go too well I do always give him a bit of a talon off just by pointing at his nose and shouting loudly never hit your gun dog I said oh, you'll never or she'll never want to come back to you come on get out of there get out of there come here come on come on good dog get on get on so he will be working with me over the months and years and you'll see a lot more of Milo and Arnie. Arnie might not be won't last that long, I might reckon, another year or two. You'll be looking after the pheasants for me, won't you, Arne? No, and he tends to do this as well, run off over the field, <coughs> over birds in the sky. tends to chase the birds that are in flight, which is a hard habit to get, well you'll get out of it as he grows up. Good dog, get on. I always reward him when he does that, because he's got to get out of it. So I'm going to leave it there, with that video. So on your top tips, will that, will those be your top tips? And I hope it helps. Come here, heel. Sit, sit, sit. So goodbye from Milo. Goodbye from Milo, or oh, I'm not in his ear, goodbye from Milo, and goodbye from us at Springers, Cockers and Shooting Night.